What if I told you that you can have more options to build your WordPress website? Well, there's a plugin that's called Combo Blocks and it expands all the blocks that you can have available to build your pages and posts. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up everyone? So Combo Blocks right now, it's a lifetime deal and this price gets you access to five domains for a lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once and use it forever. And there's a 60 day money back guarantee in case you want to refund it. There's all those days that you can check it out and test it out for yourself, right? Now, as I mentioned before, five domains for $49. And if you need more domains, you got plan two and plan three for unlimited domains. So if you are a developer, if you sell websites, you develop, etc., then that might be the plan for you. All right. Now, what this does, it expands the library of blocks that you have available on Gutenberg. So that means that you're not limited to what it has already built into WordPress. Now, the first thing I would recommend that once you install combo blocks is you jump into obviously install it, activate it, et cetera, and go to dashboard. And once you test out what you like in combo blocks and you dislike that you're not going to use, I recommend that you disable them. I mean, there's so many of these that you don't want it to get in the way of the blocks they have available for the builder. So you can turn these off in case you're not going to use them and turn on the ones you use the most. So it's up to you what you decide or just keep them all on. And these ones are coming soon. Now, before I show you how it works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. Right now, there's a Black Friday deal that has a super low price, but you can grab an even lower price with my coupon code. So these are the current plans that you can grab right now with an extra discount. And I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code to this business plan. So I'm going to select it. And once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend that you select 48 months because you lock in the lowest price lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower to $127 with 44 cents. That's for 48 months. So trust me, that's a great price, right? So use my coupon code. Okay, so back to combo blocks. As I mentioned before, once you install it, you'll get access to these blocks automatically on your WordPress post and pages. So for example, if I wanted to create a page right now, I'll create a brand new blank page just for testing purposes. And I'll click on this plus button. But again, you can do it from here and go to the blocks, right? Now, in this case, if I scroll down here, I'm now going to be able to view all the combo blocks. So you got combo blocks for post elements. You got combo blocks for tools. You got combo blocks for WooCommerce. In this case, I don't have it installed, but you can use these on WooCommerce for archive and those are the ones that are available right now. Now, the first one I want to show you is the form builder. So I'll go into form and there's a form maker with combo blocks. So again, it's not just about having multiple grid, different type of style pages, uh, reviews, etc. You also get a form builder inside of this combo blocks. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is select one of the variations that you can select from here. So it's kind of like templates per se, all right? But you can actually modify these afterwards. But if this one fits your needs right now, it's just go ahead and select one of these. For example, I'm going to select the terms submission. So I'll go select, go ahead and select this one. It's going to bring in the elements for each one of these sections. Now, if I want to edit any of one of these, I'll have the options on the right. So for example, for the wrapper, I have the options. So for the wrapper, I have the styles and the options for this. I even get access to CSS in case I really want to modify this. There's the label options, for example, label wrap. There's the style and the options for this. There's the actual label right now. You can see it says term title, so I can change this to just say, for example, title, for example, or just change it the way you like the input settings, your icons. If you want to add icons, the error wrap and the block variations. So in block variations, we're able to modify the block that's available right now. So you got a password block, the email block, the label, etc. And I can go ahead and insert a new one. I can apply the style or I can replace the one that I have selected right now. So there's all these available blocks that we can go ahead and add right now. For example, if I insert this one, it brings it inside of here. I can go ahead and keep it, modify it, change the style so it looks the same as the other ones, or just go ahead and remove it. It depends up to you. All right. So as I mentioned before, each one of these sections has the details available for this. So each one of these elements will have its settings on the right. And as you saw, you can just go ahead and add a block variation into this or change the label for each one of these elements really easily from the options on the right. All right. Now, let me go ahead and get rid of these elements. And there's several more blocks that we can test out. For example, let me show you the grid one that I really like a lot. Let me go ahead and select it and I'll bring it inside of here. And obviously, the first thing is going to ask you is to select one of these templates if we like. We can go ahead and skip it if we want. 
but I'll select, um, let me go ahead and select this one, post grid number 10. Now be aware that I don't have post available here because it's a demo site, but just like you saw on the display, it's gonna display just like that. And if I select the element, we have again, the details for each one of these options, okay? For example, the options for this, the style, the grid wrapper, I can go ahead and change the block variation. So if I don't like that template that I've selected, I can go ahead and select another one. And if I want to preview this, in this case, I don't have blocks, but if you want, you can go ahead and preview it from here and view how it is, is actually going to appear with the post that you have available in this case. So all the options available for this block once you click on it. Let me get rid of it. There's more available options here. For example, there's a pop-up that we can bring inside of here. So for example, if you wanna bring in a pop-up on your page or post for a specific page or post, this is a great option. For example, you have available options for the pop-ups here for the templates, and I'll just go ahead and select this one, for example, and I will be recommending that you turn this on once you finish editing your post because it kinda, like you saw, jumps up on the page. So do consider that when you bring in your pop-up, right? And again, for the settings on the right, we have our triggers. Let me go ahead and add a trigger. Let's go ahead and select the trigger and you have several triggers available. For example, there's an initial trigger when it just jumps when you bring in, jump inside of the page. You have the delay one. For example, I can go ahead and delay this for X amount of time so it pops up. So it just doesn't pop up in the beginning, which I would recommend that you use that, all right? A scroll percentage. So for example, if I select a scroll percentage of 50%, then it's going to pop up, right? And the percentage, for example, I'll just say 50%, maximum 70 per, 80%. And here we go, right? So that means that if someone scrolls 50%, it's gonna pop up. If not, it won't pop up, right? So these are great options for the triggers. You got your wrappers, you got your content that you can change right here. In the style, for example, you can change the colors, et cetera, all from here. The, the close option, for example, if I wanna change the icon for closing, maybe I don't want that one, I'll choose that one just for example. And it's just really easy to change those out there, right? There's an animation option for animation in, out, the close triggers the block variation you can change it from here visibility options available here you can add a group here for the visibility and let's go ahead and add one you can use for example the user logged in user not logged in user roles etc so it doesn't appear to every single one and there's several options available for this to be triggered for the visibility instead of just popping up for everyone so depending on a certain criteria it's going to pop up right so it's a great option to have now aside from all that you have a bunch of blocks available that you can start choosing right here that is going to save you time once you start using them. For example, the star rating. If I want to do a star rating here, it's just as easy as bring it inside the element and start using it. For example, I'll use this one and we got it inside of here. And again, the settings for each one of these on the right. So it's just super easy to use combo blocks with all the blocks that they provide. And the idea is to have more blocks available than what you have already on Gutenberg. So go ahead and check it out. Don't forget that there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead and buy it right now, test it out for 60 days. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And if you do like it, well, go ahead and keep it. Remember, it's a lifetime deal. So that's a wrap.